Okay, this is the second part of our dual boot for Windows. We restarted the computer and Windows file system can see that something has changed. So let check disk run and it'll sort itself out. And then it'll boot into Windows. In Windows, right click on Easy BCD and run as administrator and say yes to that. And then once it boots, uh, Easy BCD, we can make some changes. So as you can see, it booted into Windows and it ignored Mint. So these are the default settings that we need to change. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a new entry for Linux Mint. Click on Linux. We need to load Grub2 and then automatically load Partition3. Remember, SDA3, and then we're just going to change the name into Mint Linux. I suppose it should be Linux Mint, but you know, click Add Entry, and then view the settings, and then you can see that it's, uh, Linux has been added. But we've got a default timeout of 30 seconds, so we'll change that. Edit boot menu. Here we can change uh, windows at the top of the list to, to lower and we can change the default. So I'm going to change the countdown timer to 5 seconds. So it'll automatically have to start after 5 seconds. And at the moment I want to keep windows as my default boot. So that's the one that will start without doing anything. Click save settings and X that off. Click no thanks. Restart the computer. Computer starts to this, click enter and Windows will start. Or don't click anything and Windows will start anyway. Booting from Mint, you get the same start, go down to Linux or Mint Linux, click enter and Linux will start. Here just click your, your username and then enter the password that you put in, click OK and Linux will start. There you go.